there's Between enough there. With them. Yeah, you got to kind of know what you're doing. If you can't, if you misstep, that misstep 20, 40, 50 years from now, as we see with the Bill Cosby, <laughs> yeah. that can kill you. you feel right. Like, 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 no one would ever be able to say somebody wrote for Biggie. So it's impossible. You can't even, you can't even make that up if you wanted to. Right. Right. Nobody believe it. But, but you can make a claim about some other people because maybe somebody might have gave that person a line or did this or whatever. Chorus. Mr. Right. Screw the shit. You know what I'm saying too? You know, it's one of those things. It's crazy. I mean, it's unfortunate, but you know, a lot of people luckily have persevered. There are just a small few right now who's getting called into question, but none of y'all, none of the Fuji's, none of the, the real gods are, are at all uh, being questioned, which is a beautiful thing. And I mean, like I said, y'all had some crazy success. I mean, you had uh, timeless classics that people three years old know. You got Princess Diana, who was a fan. I mean, y'all really did the thing. So for you now to be kind of looking over and seeing a new crop of rappers, the Kings come through, who do you think, is there like another group or another maybe individual that you can kind of see like, yo, y'all might have the Fuji's thing. Y'all might have some staying power here. Or do you not feel it from anybody at this very moment? No, there's a lot of people out there doing their thing. You know, it's a lot of, you know, I'm, I'm loving the, I'm loving the vibe out there. You know, some of it is bullshit, obviously. Most of it. But a lot of great <laughs> vibes out there. You know what I'm saying? The vibe is definitely good. And, and it's a good era, man. This is a good time right now. You know, I respect what the young... Um, artists are doing because they 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 they, they, they taking ownership of their ip right their intellectual property right? right and the good thing is you know they're getting that back you know because back in my day you couldn't do that you had to straight up be signed to a major or something whatever today you ain't got to do that you know what i mean so and there's so many different opportunities and and why not because yo you know, we've been here for 400 years. They've been taking everything away from us. Now we finally, you know what I'm saying, coming up. And we're getting that bag, you know what I'm saying? And and, mm -hmm. and, and we're moving the culture globally. You know what I mean? Not just locally, but globally. Right. Not just domestically, but globally. You know what I mean? So there's something to be said about that, man. And so I, I definitely fuck with that. Excellent. I mean, it's good to hear that you say that because some of the, the forefathers of the game, some of the people that came out in the 90s right now, we're at this weird position where like this new crop or this new wave of rappers are coming through and they don't necessarily know or even care to really show like that that respect to some of y'all who've laid that, that groundwork. So do you feel any of that ever? Like, do you feel like, you know, that we need to bridge a gap or, you know, is hip hop to you just kind of going into its natural progression into whatever's next? I think it's a combination between, you know, the older, the OGs not respecting what the young Gs are doing. I think you got to respect the grind, man. You got to respect the art. You know what I mean? It's just because I think some of them might just be hating the old, mm -hmm. the old Gs. So then what happens is the young artists feel like, well, fuck these niggas. You know right. what I'm saying too? Which I feel the same way too. If I felt like, damn OG, give me some, give me some guidance, man. Give me some words on love, man. You uh, pass the baton. This, right. This, you know what I'm saying too? And I just feel like maybe a lot of them feel like, man, fuck that. They could be hating because, you know, they, they, they weren't able to get that bag in their time the way that these artists right now are getting the bags and the way that they're able to do what they're doing and the opportunities that's being put in front of them. So I think that um that's what that's what widens the gap. You know what I mean? But I welcome it, man. I love it, man. I, I, I listen to a lot of this shit right here, and some of that shit inspires me. You know what I mean? So... I'm always going to give love. If it's some bullshit, you call it's some it. bullshit. Who's yeah, your favorite? Like, right? Do you have a favorite right now? Like somebody new or who you listening to at the moment? Um, You know, I'm going to fuck with niggas. And I fuck with my man like Pusha T. That's my dog. You know what I'm yeah. saying to you? But at the same time, I love Drake. You know what I'm saying? I love the, the, the how creative he is. I think he's a genius at what he does. You know, um, Kendrick, J. Cole. That's my vibe right there. You know what I mean? I fuck with that all day. Absolutely. But then again, I fuck with that. I fuck with my man Rick Rose. You know what I'm saying too? Like the boss. So I fuck with. I fuck with all that shit. Yeah, I fuck with. I fuck with all that shit, man. All that shit is dope, man. You know, I fuck with that shit. So we know you got a whole new crop of music coming out. Um, right now you got Wave Culture. So let's talk about that. What was the inspiration behind that? Who did you, you know, draw from? Like, tell us all about this new body of work. We need to know. Well, wave culture is just a vibe, you know what I mean? Um, if you notice, the, the cover is, is a picture of the paddock, you know what I'm saying, too? Everybody know I'm the paddock, man. You know what I'm saying, too? It's what Comfort. it is, you know what I'm saying? It's what it is. So just want to put a vibe out there, but just not just 
any type of vibe, just a vibe that's just like the zone I'm in, you know what I'm saying, how blessed I am, you know, to be able to come in this game, you know, God bless black people, man, mm. with hip hop, they took everything else away from us, you know what I'm saying, they took rock and roll from us, they took jazz away from us, they promised us 40 acres in the mill, we never got that, you know what I'm saying, too, they like we try to take hip hop from us, but you know, the shit is too saucy, man, they can't take that, so because of hip hop, you know, we able to create millions of jobs, mm. billions of dollars, and be able to like I mean, you see what I'm driving? I'm driving in a bespoke Rose, Rafe. You know what yeah. I'm saying to you? I need God a God the look you see the ceiling, the stars in the ceiling, you mm. feel me? I this feel is you. God blessing. This is this is all hip hop. Look what's going on here. Look you know at you, big to you? money. And, and, and by the way, I want people to understand here for all the young cats out here. Let me tell you something. You want to own your shit. You see what I'm saying? It's not rental. This is all shit that I own. You know what I'm saying to you? This is how good God is. You know what I'm saying to you? Stop fucking wasting your money on the bullshit. You know what I'm saying to you? So anyway, <laughs> what I'm saying is, is that God is good. So I figured, let me just put this wave culture, get in the vibe. You know what I'm saying to you? No pressure. Just vibe it, man. You know what I'm saying? And That's fuck what we with need. it. Fuck with it. You don't. Oh, good. You no, know no, nah, nah, nah. You got some heavy features on it. You got Young and May. You got Zoe Dollars. I got um, Young and May. I got I got Zoe, Do Zoe Dollars. I got my girl Steph LaCour. I love her. She's great from Miami. You know what I'm saying? She's doing her thing. Haitians in the house. You know the Caribbean always going to represent. You know what I'm saying? So it's all good, man. You know what I mean? Now, you all about the black dollar, as we just saw and heard and witnessed in your beautiful car. So tell us about Blackter because if now forgive me if I'm wrong, but it's a blockchain smartphone that you use and it pays you. And that's something that's your brainchild, am I right? Yeah, you know, it's coming out with a mobile phone. Okay. It's a blockchain smartphone that pays the people when you get the phone. But look out for it. It's, it's, we're gonna start campaigning next month. That's all I can tell. But you're gonna hear about it. The whole planet gonna hear about it. It's gonna be revolutionary. And the great thing is, is, is by us, for us. You know what I mean? It's for the culture. It's to give back to the culture. And it's, 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 it's just incredible, man. It's God is just, God is good. God is good. I hear that. God and and speaking good. of the culture and giving back, I need to ask you, because the culture would choke me if I didn't ask, is there any way that we ever going to get a Fuji's reunion, reboot, any of that? Man, Come on. You know what? You, you know, there's a saying that goes, man, plan, but I mean, Man plan, but God laugh. You right. know what I'm saying, too? So, <laughs> so <laughs> if, if if it's in God's plan, then nothing I can say about it. You know what I'm saying? But right now, you know, um, big up, shout out to all my, the rest of my crew. They're all doing their thing. I'm doing my thing. You know what I'm saying, too? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in a good space. Um, life is beautiful. So... That's what it is. That's what it is. Now, how about if maybe if we don't do it a whole reunion tour, could we maybe see a biopic? Like, maybe if it's if it's not just pros, if it's all three of y'all, like, is that something that might be in the works? Because, I mean, y'all earned it. Maybe. You know what I'm saying? We'll see what happens. You know what I'm saying? I'm waiting to see what happens. I think next year we'll be up for um, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So I'm waiting mm -hmm. to see what happens with that. So let's 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 start from there. You know what I'm saying? We we'll see what happens. You know. You got it. No, I mean, if they ask me, y'all got it. That's just the blessing I'm speaking into your life. But I'm so happy that you came and spoke with us. Um, tell us more about Wave Culture. Is it out now? Where can we hear it? Where can we pick it up? Like, yeah, it's all it's, it's all yeah. Wave Culture is out right now. It's on it's on it's on all the um streaming platform. You know what I'm saying? Go check it out. It's lit. You know what I'm saying we survive. You know what I mean? So. It's coming, yeah. man. More body of work is coming. You know what I mean? Check out the videos coming out in a couple of weeks with my girl, Steph LaCour, the, the title song, Wave Culture. Shit is lit. For it's real, all real. lit. That's it's all lit. So before I let you go, I just want to ask you, I mean, not that you haven't done every and anything that most rappers would just would, can only dream about, but I mean, assuming and, and God willing, you have more and more decades to accomplish so much more. Where do you see yourself in like 30 years from now, looking back on everything you've done? What else is there that you need to accomplish um, in order to really fulfill the, the calling on your life and in your heart? Uh, well, that's a crazy question. But all I can say to you is <laughs> the best is right around the corner. And, you know, 30 years, I just want to continually have good health, obviously wealth, those are two, and family, those are three most important things. Everything else is just bullshit, you know what I mean? So that's what I look forward to.
And what you gonna tell somebody that's coming up who got a little group going or trying to do their own thing? What's the best advice you've ever gotten? And what's the that advice that you, how could you regurgitate that for somebody who's on the come up? Perseverance. Mm. You know, um, always be ready to take, 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 take advantage of opportunities. Always be humble. You know, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. Mm. You know what I mean? So, Absolutely. Because, you know, nothing lasts forever, obviously. Okay. Um, and so you just want to always make sure that even when you're not at the hottest peak of your time, that people still want to help you, you know what I'm saying to you? So I see a lot of people out there with arrogance and no humility. That ain't, that, 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 that only going to get you but so far. And we've seen that. You, you, mm. you've, seen, you've seen some of these artists out there that when they were fish grease hot, they were doing all type of dumb shit, but you had to right. deal with it. The minute it cool off a little, you see how motherfuckers turn their back on them real quick. You know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. too? You got to always maintain because, yo, we're all God's children. I don't mean to sound corny saying this shit, but you good? trust me, man. Blessings, blessings, man, is, is, is nothing to, 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 is nothing to just sneeze at. And, I, and, I, and I, I'm a testament of that. You know mm. what I'm saying, too? I'm a real testament to what being humble and blessed and be, you know what I'm saying? Because literally, I didn't have to be here. Absolutely. You know I'm saying? God bless me because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a right, because I'm a God-fearing man. Mm. You know what I'm saying to you? So everything is just beautiful. You know what I mean? So that's, that's the advice I would give to everyone. And then get a great accountant. Boom. Okay? Make, sure you, make sure you pay your taxes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> make sure you save your money too. You know what I mean? Stop wasting all your money. Not everybody could be Drake, so don't think you're going to walk in a strip club and just make it rain for like 40, 50 grand. You know what I'm saying to you? Talk be about wise, it. man. That's all I got to say. You know what <laughs> I mean? That's it. Perseverance and wisdom. If that's we taking away and wave culture. If those are the three things we taking away from this interview, I'm happy with that. I'm just so grateful Word. that you came Word. on cheeky and you talked to us, you educated us, and we looking forward to potentially uh, seeing a Fuji's reunion or biopic. And we definitely putting all good God vibes out for that Hall of Fame nod because y'all really earned it and deserved it. But... Thank you so much. I won't take up too much more of your time. I'll let you enjoy your beautiful car. And um, Thank you. everybody so go out there and listen to Wave Culture. Word. Thank you. Thank you. Love you all day. All righty. Have a good night. All right. You too. Peace. Bye, Cheekies.